Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Wombat Gaming. This is Star Lord. We're bringing you another episode of the Banner Lord walkthrough that I'm playing currently. Um, yeah, we have we're basically not recording every single hour of footage. It's quite a lot, so we have jumped ahead a little bit. And I'm going to call this Wall with, wall with All, <laughs> pretty much as you can see. Uh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm running. Battle. I'll just go into the Kingdom tab and have a look. Uh, in diplomacy, pretty much the only person we're not at war with is Sturgia. Uh, it won't take long, but um, we are controlling most of the map, and that's probably annoying everybody. So uh, we are running the diplomacy mod and the garrison mod as well. So uh, they, are, in my book, are essential for this game, uh, especially garrisons. Um, I've got so many cities and towns. I mean, I don't have them all myself. Obviously, I've given them to the AI um, lords in my my faction or my clan. I should say my my um, yeah my kingdom. Um, but they don't run terribly well, so I've been keeping most of the cities for myself and using the garrison mod uh, improved garrisons to actually make. Uh, let's go out and have a look. I'll show you. Um, if you scroll out, you can see there's all these little flags, got armies, but uh, guards of Poros, here we go. So this uh, particular guard here, there are what, 143 troops in there. You can adjust all these levels. I've increased them because I'm at war. Um, and so I'm finding that uh, that's a relatively good number because the small, mostly smaller armies running around the map that I'm at war with, I can't be everywhere. So it's really frustrating having them raid a, a, a village and then I don't have anybody nearby to protect it. Now I've just taken the cities again, oh, I think, or defended it again, I can't remember. Um, yeah, and then I, you can also send out recruits, uh, people to gather recruits if there are any available in nearby cities, or uh, well, towns I should say, I guess. So um, let's scroll out. Uh, this is the overview of the cities that we there's a bit of cluster here at the moment because of all the guards but um, we pretty much own the map uh, we have a city up here it's kind of stuck in the middle of nowhere one over here and pretty much we're dominating the whole map apart from castles we can't seem to hang on to castles uh, they don't um, seem to gather troops as easy and I'm having to stock them up with even with a 600 garrison they seem to still lose their battles which is you know interesting so um, yeah going back to this clan tab uh, or kingdom tab I should say we'll have a look at the stats on all of them so Asari we're looking strength they're almost gone I mean they're 600 they have no towns or castles Britannia similar situation um, or you know they're a bit strength is a little higher but they no towns or castles i'm trying to buy as many lords as i can now too i've got a little bit of gold saved up only three million so because uh, no towns or castles their strength's pretty low as well hoping to knock them off soon with the uh, northern empire they've got a little bit more strength so they're the ones four thousand playing a little bit of a problem at the moment three towns 13 castles so they're my main opposition at the moment trying to gather up these castles and towns southern empire no castles or towns strength's really low Melandia, uh same situation no castles or towns strength's really low and western empire same situation just have one town one castle so we'll get around to getting to that um Sturgia are the only ones we're not they've got a castle um so we are nearing the end of the game in relation to I think cross fingers taking everything over so um we do have a lot of, uh, you can see clans with us now, it's quite good. So we, you know, we have a lot of, you can see just pretty much the whole map. So, um, total strength, you can see we just outnumber everybody now, which is great. The tactic used for me was basically running the improved garrisons mod um, and creating smaller parties to patrol the areas well I didn't have to be there that saved me a few times making sure my cities are well garrisoned too if I can this one's got only 300 defenders in it um, so making sure when you manage your town put a good governor in there if you can this one obviously has just been 
taken back, so it is no food. Loyalty is not too bad. Um, what else we got? Uh, yeah, so um, um, you could probably work on militia, you know. So if you're not got nothing in your queue, but I, I need to get this city up and running, so I am throwing things into the queue. Loyalty is good, so hopefully uh, we can get things running again really smoothly. Prosperity. We got running first, yeah. Maybe I'll change this one actually to prosperity. I am having a mental blank. Prosperity change, yeah, so it doesn't give a great prosperity change, but. Uh, we'll just leave it at the moment. We'll come back in a minute. Anyway, so we're going to continue on. So we are over this side of the map. Uh, we have a castle down here we could take. And yeah, let's continue on. So also another one over here. Got some armies. We can siege this castle down here at the moment. It's not mine. We only have 96 defenders, but we have a town nearby. So we're going to make our way that way. I'm talking about Simo. Uh, I'm sending out some messages as well to try and get people to join me. So, but you could see I had a um, this guards was going to chase him down. He ran for it, so I protected that settlement. If I wasn't around, we didn't have that active. That settlement just would have got raided. So it's quite good. All right, career with peace offer. For you, in peace with the Asari. Ah, you daily tribute of 810. We're just gonna accept that just for the sake of it, because is that gonna. Oh, they, oh, they bloody hell, that'd be right. They, just as we shouldn't have taken that one, probably. We wanted. Anyway, they just took the castle, and that'd be right, so. It's always impeccable timing. Let's we can concentrate on knocking off everybody else. Mercy without losing anything, which is good. Oh, damn it, I didn't want to accept this castle, but I will. Um, all right. Uh, okay, no, actually, we can. It wasn't the Asari that took that one. There must be an army somewhere. It only has 33 defenders in it, so...
has no defenders that's any downside now um but i'd say a smaller i'm not gonna get things So he's going to get knocked off anyway by looks, so... Stop there. Who are... <laughs> he got no troops. Alright. Let's have a look. We don't have anything down here to capture. There's a bit of stuff through the middle here we need to get back to. And nothing this way, so we really are spread out a little bit. Lots of castles, so we're going to head back this way and work our way through the center of the map. So we've got a couple of armies being created, which is great. Resolving the issue of a castle. Let's have a look at the armies. We have three armies at the moment. It's good. Okay. Alright, well he's running around that side. There you go, the Sturgeons have decided to... Okay, if we hadn't made peace, uh, yeah. Alright, so now we've got Sturgia to worry about. That can be a pain in the ass. They've still got quite a few little tribes. Alright, this uh, only problem with the diplomacy mod is it's a little buggy. Um, so I'm actually thinking of turning this off because uh, your armies and people are exhausted from conflict against the Northern Empire. You've given up the fight. You must accept the terms of defeat. We were actually winning, so I think this is ridiculously buggy. Um, you must accept the terms of defeat and pay 1,128 dinars. And, we, and I lose all my influence. So it's, um, yeah, I think. If you're using the diplomacy mod, turn off war exhaustion. Doesn't work. So, um, that's very frustrating. Uh, but yeah, if you, I could have shown you in the previous, I can't show you now because it's not going to be there, but they were well and truly at war exhaustion as well. But for some reason, it's a choice to me. And it, it, there's all my influence. Yeah, not happy. Not happy. Now I've got nothing to keep my army together apart from what I'm making 63, so I just have to hope that I can continue to tick that over and keep this army together. And yeah, and now the problem I've got is that they're the one people that I wanted to conquer. And now I can't. <laughs> All right, so we need to find the one, yeah, over here, the one castle that they've got. And I think they got a town somewhere as well, yeah, up here. So, All right, we'll make our way back up that way. Sturgeo will be up this area as well. Desperately need food from my army, so I might stop off at Poros. Quickly do this one.
Oh, you're kidding me, right? This is what I'm talking about. The castle we just took. There's no defenders in a small army of like 60 people is going to take it back. So unless you're carrying around a surplus of troops. Make our way along the coast. Thankfully, I am making 63 influence a day, so it's going to keep my army together, I hope. Oh, we've got multiple castles being sieged now down that way. Oh, God's sake, seriously. What have we got happening down here? We've got that castle and that castle. We've got two castles being sieged, and I don't have an army down here either, so I'm gonna have to go back. So close to. We have one, we have a couple of armies this way, so I'm hoping that they'll do their job. All right, I'm gonna have to go back. All right, we're making our way back. Um, I've got quite a few little armies. Might even let one of these armies go. Yeah, so what I was saying is um, I can let some of these, you know, a couple of these armies down here go and collect more armies when I head back north. They might patrol the area while I'm down here, you never know. Yeah, they gave up, see? And the other one, 
I just missed her, so hopefully she'll go off and kill some enemies around the area. It's been a while. All that, the 97 troops. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're going to have to head back now, because there are a few small armies floating around in this area, but the main problem I've got is all the way up this way, so... Could just ban the army and save my influence, but oh, I could reform it at the other end. I'm not really sure. Rihanna. Lots of raids happening, but hopefully the guard parties for each city and town are doing their job. Back to minus one food again. Exhausted from War of Britannia is proposing peace with Jalos, willing to pay you... Britannia. Alright, Britannia. At least we still can. Western Empire is the one we want to take out. Britannia didn't, I don't know, didn't have any towns or castles, I don't think. Double check that. No, so we weren't worried about them. Um, they, yeah, Western Empire. Don't worry about Valandia. Sturgia have two castles. So Sturgia, Western Empire, at the moment, they're the two we're worrying about.
Stopping for food again. Hardwood, always grabbing that. God, no one's got food. Bit late this one. <laughs> He's got seven troops left. Oh well. I really do want this city, but looks like he beat us to it. That's alright. We'll take the castle then. You can see there's a big problem down here. We've got parties, small parties everywhere because it's a castle down here. So what we'll do is we'll just ban the army down here, I think. Hopefully they'll take out. We've kind of got them trapped a little bit here, so... It's only... Okay, we can get rid of some of these. Parties that might... Attack hopefully some of these smaller parties, they're a bit more mobile. I am Click on the wrong one. I'd wish you peace and Alright, render or die. I'm letting go of these smaller parties. In the hope that they'll knock off some of these people. There's only um, 300 defenders in there, so... Can we get rid of another small army? So we've got these smaller armies now to take care of, and they're trapped down here, they can't get out, which is good, so... Force them into the castle. Ah, oh, he's 
gonna lose that battle up there. But hopefully he'll come in. Yes, he will. Good. It's gonna be a nice little capture. Quite a few prisoners in this town, which was which was excellent. Uh, so we can put them back into the garrison, or we could put them back in their own party. But um, four hundred. So that town will not be taken anytime soon, which is great. Still over in my troop numbers, but I will put some of those donate troops to some of these guys. Um, actually, let's recruit all these as well. Upgrade all these. up her army again. Still over. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. But I'll get. I'll give him some of these lower level troops. Just to give me these numbers. Oops. Oh, I gave him too many. God damn it. quite a few wounded so Exhaustion, you know, I supposing peace with Jalas, willing to pay. Do we want to? Um, Western Empire are the ones that have got. I just don't know what our war exhaustion is like, so I'm probably better off accepting it. It's a pain in the ass it is. We almost had them on the ropes, but. As I said, war exhaustion in the diplomacy mod is a little bit glitchy, and I could say no, and then two seconds later it is saying I have to. Um, Alright, so... 
castles, towns, no, no. So we, one castle for Sturgia. That's pretty much the only castle we need to find. We'll worry about these guys later. All right, where's this castle of theirs? All the way up here. Actually, I might disband. Um, yeah, they're being a pain, so all right. Should have taken that castle. Ah, oh, it wasn't a castle. Oh well, doesn't matter. Should have taken that city for myself. Let's um. Get as close to the Sturgeons as possible and we will release this army. Finally, a decent amount of food. Green, I'll take the green as well. Um. Get back the plus five, which is good. It's been a way. It has, but you're very outnumbered. So. I'll take all the troops. Feed them back into these other armies. See what I mean? We got like hordes of bloody. Um, I'm going to disband the army here and let these guys hopefully completely destroy these smaller tribes. And I can concentrate on fighting some of these guys as well. Forcing them back into the castle, hopefully. Get 
Get there in time. Oh, yes. Alright, I need to feed. Uh, okay, I don't have... well over in troops now I just realized I don't have an army to put them into so what we'll do is create one distance we'll just quickly drag a couple of these back in actually cancel that I can actually create a party I think I yeah I lost my parties before Let's see if I've got anybody I can create a party with Give him a few more troops, I think. Alright, we have all these little tribe tribes down here, which is annoying. Um, I have my prisoner limit still. Party. small and annoying little tribes little army little parties which is so annoying Exhausted. Oh, I've got him on the run though. Oh, he's so annoying. Um, 
I'm gonna decline. I'm gonna take them out. Oh, I've got all these prisoners. Shit, I forgot all about this. I need to take them to a city. Uh, let's take them over here. Food again. All right, so now we we are trying to finish off Sturgia, but let's make sure that no one's lost any no castles, no towns, no castles, no towns, no castles, no towns. Okay, so these four we're at war with don't have any castles or towns. We're at war extortion, ex exhaustion, see here with Valandia, have been for a while, 100 on both sides. So the diplomacy mod is not working because sh they reached it first. They should have surrendered when that happened, or well, at least offered to, um, even though we're winning. Which, and you can see here, Sturgeon, we just declined, but, you know, they it worked for some reason. Southern Empire, even though we got them on the ropes, we... Still neck and neck for war exhaustion, and you can see the Kuzate, we're at 100, 100. We've been out for a while now, but oh God, I just want to knock them over. Um, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to re finish recording there. We're going to try our best to finish off these smaller parties. I think they could be a little bit boring, but basically you see what I'm doing. Uh, basically not letting anybody have a city or a castle now. I think you know we've only got one culture that's actually got any kind of property um that's the northern empire they have three towns 12 castles everyone else is at zero and quite low um strength wise so we're concentrating on knocking off the smaller these smaller ones now the small parties hopefully we can distinguish these three especially they're only under 600 in strength and yeah we'll go from there so i hope you're enjoying these videos guys if you are please like and subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and i will bring you some more banner lord videos to come we will probably record very close to winning this i hope now uh it's taken us quite a while to get to here and i look forward to seeing you on the next video thanks guys star lord out